Hi, I'm Kentucky Attorney General Andy Bashir, bringing you the first of several videos introducing you uh, to members of our team here in the Attorney General's office. Today, uh, we've got Michael Brown, who is our Chief Deputy. Hi, Michael. General, how are you? I'm good. Uh, Michael, one thing that everybody in the office knows that you bring to work every day is your military background. Can, can you tell us a little bit about your service? Uh, yeah, it starts really with my father. My father uh, served in the United States Army as part of the New York National Guard, a very famous all-black unit out of Harlem, New York. He was on the island of Okinawa when World War II ended. Mm. Uh, but he never achieved all the rank because he didn't have the educational background. So when it came time for me, I uh, decided to go to ROTC so I could get my education first and then uh, do the military service. The Vietnam War was going on at that time. I went to CCNY for ROTC. I was very proud that I was made the rank of cadet colonel mm -hmm. and was uh, followed in the footsteps of the other cadet colonel at my school named Colin Powell. Wow. Uh, went on to get a regular army commission and served with the, uh, my two primary units with 82nd Airborne and then I was an aviator with the 101st. Which brought you here to Kentucky. That's exactly how I got to Kentucky. Now well, we appreciate your service and, and I know you've continued your civil service in a number of different jobs. You're the current uh, Deputy Attorney General. You served as the Justice Cabinet Secretary but you had a few uh, public service jobs before that? I seem to stumble into a lot of them. Uh, <laughs> I, I started out as uh, being a, a district court judge appointed by Governor Martha Lane Collins, later became first assistant commonwealth attorney in Jefferson County, and then went on to work in the Abramson administration. Uh, my last job there was a director of law for the city of Louisville. Now, given all those different jobs, uh, tell me what it is uh, that you like about being uh, the chief deputy in the attorney general's office. The, the primary thing, it brings me completely back to a focus on law. Mm -hmm. Law, it was my first love. Uh, it was not really interrupted by the military, but that was a, a service that we had to do at that particular time, and I wanted to get back. So when I resigned my commission, I came up to go to law school and begin my legal practice. In all the other administrative jobs, they've been quasi-law, but this brings me back now finally to the purest form of mm -hmm. uh, being involved in the law on a daily basis. Well, and I know you're also a proud dad and, and a great husband. Tell us a little bit about your family. Well, my family is, uh, they are diverse in a sense. Uh, my wife, Joan, uh, retired. Uh, we've been married 38 years. She is retired from Jefferson County Public Schools. Um, I have a son, my youngest son, Matthew, is a, is a, it works in the radio business for iHeartRadio mm -hmm. and has a radio program here in Jefferson County. I have a son in Florida who works for Raymond James and a son in Cincinnati who works for the uh, Social Security Administration. None of them seem to want to follow my footsteps <laughs> either into military or law. Well, but a, but a proud dad, successful kids? They are, they, are, they are successful. They are successful in the sense that they, they've chosen their own way, but uh, you know, unlike some other situations, um, their mother and I have not had to be called out late at night in very tragic situations, so we've been very blessed with that. Uh, I know we're very blessed here in the Attorney General's office to have the wisdom and experience of Michael Brown. Uh, we appreciate you joining us and tune in uh, to our next set of videos where we'll introduce you to even uh, other great folks that work hard every day at our mission. Thanks.